As of July 2023, HMS Albion completed six years of operational service around the world. This included sanction enforcement in the Asian Pacific, operational pilot project development in the Mediterranean, North Atlantic, Baltic and Arctic, specialising in joint nation amphibious assaults, visits to Sweden, Estonia, Norway, Netherlands, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Finland. HMS Albion, with a crew size of approximately 325 personnel, is an amphibious transport dock of the Royal Navy, the first of the Albion class, consisting of two ships, the other being Bulwark. Albion was launched in March 2001 from Barrow and Bulwark from the same in November 2001. The running costs of one of the Albion class vessels at high readiness from 2007 to 2011 ranged from 18 million to 39 million pounds per annum. From 2015 to 2017, Albion was subject to a two year substantial refit. This refit included a weapons upgrade, the fitting of Phalanx CIWS in place of the goalkeeper CIWS and sensors upgrade, a Type 997 radar and a new command system. Based in Plymouth, Albion is the ninth ship to carry the name. Albion is an ancient Celtic name for Great Britain, predating the Roman and Saxon invasions. As an amphibious warfare ship, Albion carries troops in addition to its own crew, normally Royal Marines, and can also carry their various associated armoured vehicles, up to the size of the Challenger 2 main battle tank. Troops and their vehicles can rapidly deploy from the ship for security, crisis and warfare operations on land. The ship can carry 256 troops with their vehicles and combat supplies, and this can be swollen up to 405 troops. Vehicles can be deployed to sea via the rear hull internal dock using the ship's complement of four landing craft utility or LCUs, while troops can be deployed from davits using four landing craft vehicle and personnel or LCVPs. A flight deck to the rear supports helicopter operations. The ship can operate two large helicopters including the CH-47 Chinook twin rotor transport helicopters. These can sling load RM BVS-10 Viking light tracked amphibious armoured vehicles and deliver them ashore if the sea states are too severe for them to swim ashore. The BVS-10 is a tracked articulated amphibious all-terrain armoured vehicle produced by BAE Systems, Land Systems Haglunds of Sweden. This vehicle referred to as the All-Terrain Vehicle Protected ATVP or Viking by the UK forces was originally developed as a collaboration between industry, Haglund's Vehicle AB and the British Ministry of Defence on behalf of the Royal Marines. The loading dock of HMS Albion is packed with the trucks, machinery and watercraft her crew use to carry out their duties. The ship also carries emergency supplies for use in disaster relief operations, from food and medical supplies to water pumps. Nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty tons displacement, total length one hundred and seventy six meters, beam twenty eight point nine, draft seven point one. 18 knots total speed, launched 9th of March 2001, sponsored by the Princess Royal, commissioned on the 19th of June 2003, home port Her Majesty's Naval Base Devonport, Plymouth. Vartsila Vasa 16V 32E diesel generators. Two Vartsila Vasa 4R 32E diesel generators. GE power conversion full electric propulsion system. 
two electric motors and drives, bow thruster, range 8,000 miles. Two Pacific 22 Mark II, four LCU Mark 10, four LCVP Mark V, total vehicle capacity 67. Two Type 1007 stroke 8 I-band radars. The Kelvin Hughes Type 1007 family of naval radars are high definition surface warning and navigational radar systems in service with the UK Royal Navy and several other world navies. It consists of a range of navigation, surface and air search equipment for naval use. It includes a choice of antennas, I-band and F-band transmitter receivers and a range of displays. The Colour Tactical Display, or CTD, is a highly capable navigation display with a wide selection of operational tactical facilities. It has built-in tracking capability of up to 50 automatically tracked targets and 20 manually tracked targets. The CTD gives the operator a clear, sharp colour tactical picture out to over 300 kilometres with the ability to label tracks with ships' names and numbers. Symbology and a choice of colours are used to indicate hostile, friendly, neutral, unknown, and whether air, surface or subsurface. One Type 997 E-F band radar from 2017. The Type 997 Artisan Advanced Radar Target Indication Situational Awareness and Navigation is a medium range air and surface surveillance phased array 3D radar. Artisan has a range of 200 meters to 200 kilometers or 110 nautical miles at 30 RPM and is capable of tracking more than 900 targets at once. BAE systems state that Artisan is capable of tracking targets the size of small birds or tennis balls travelling at Mach 3 against even the most complex jammers. Two by 20 mm Phalanx CIWS from 2017. Phalanx is one of the deadly last lines of defence for Britain's warships, capable of engaging targets one mile away. It is a radar-controlled Vulcan cannon Gatling gun mounted on a swivelling base which fires 20mm shells at a cyclic rate of 3,000 rounds per minute. Often called SeaWiz, the gun-based close-in weapon system to defend military watercraft automatically against incoming threats such as aircraft, missiles and small boats if they penetrated a ship or task group's outer ring of defences such as Sea Viper or Sea Dart. 2. Orlicon 20mm Cannon Browning .50 caliber heavy machine guns as of 2023. 6. 7.62mm general purpose machine guns. 